Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to bring the iClone 8 crowd simulations into iClone 7 to achieve the backward compatibility. So start from now, I'm going to show you the step by step. Alright, first you can just have a look. This is my iClone 8. And in iClone 8, you have a new feature that is called the actor group. And you can simulate any of the crowds. And then, once you already create your crowds by using the crowd sim, by using the actor group, how are you going to bring it into the icon servers? This sounds amazing, right? So start from now, I just clear the icon servers to start a fresh new project in icon servers. Then, in icon 8, I also start a fresh new project in icon 8. Right, first, I'm going to just create some crowds here. This is iClone 8. I drag, drag the five waiting actor groups here. It is going to create some crowds of five persons. Right, now you have five persons, five persons waiting. You can randomize it, some actors. Right, for this time it's okay, I don't ran randomize it. I'm going to create the crowds now. So now you play, you can see your crowds. Alright, next I'm going to just create two person talking here. Then I want to make sure so one is female and one is male. And I randomize it, randomize. Right, this is just a demo. Now you can see a, a man is here, a female, a lady is here. I close. And I'm going to create a three person standing randomly here. Right, once done already, I close this. Then this is iClone 8. Next, we are, we are going to export as FBX file. To export it, first you have to go to the scene. Make sure you expand all of the avatar group. And then, hold the control. You click the first one. It's selected already. Hold the control to select one by one, like this. To select all. Once done already, you can see all already get selected. Next. Create a new folder on your desktop, name this as crop 01 Then, click File, Export, FBX, the Target 2 preset, choose Maya, the FPS 60 is okay. The range, you click the range, it will be exactly the animation range you selected here. Then embed, embed the texture. All the texture will be embedded, then click export on the desktop, the crop01 folder. File name, name this as crop01, then click save. Then open the folder, you can see you are going to export it as FBX file. It is just really simple to export the FBX. Now it is 95%, just, just wait for a while until it finish. Right, it is still exporting. Just need to be patient because it involves just more than 10 people here. Right, almost done. You can see your FBX file is already here. Right, next what we are going to do is just focus on this FBX. And in this tutorial, we are going to bring the iClone 8 crowd simulations to iClone 7. This is iClone 7. Alright, so how? You need to perform a backward compatibility test. 
you can just use the 3D Exchange 7. Next. Drag in the Cloud Zero One FBX. Now it is importing into 3D Exchange. This is the Icon 3D Exchange 7. Once this pop up, you have to make sure you take adjust the material automatically. Then import the animations. This is very important. Then click OK. And then just wait for a while until all of the materials and 3D models finish loaded. Right, next it is going to pop out this. About the auto conversions, you just say no. This one you must say no. Then just wait for a while. Now it is converting the real time texture size. Now, done. And next step in 3D Exchange, you can just, just scroll down here to check the Perform Editor. Click and try to play. You can see all of your crowds already have the animations. Next step, what you need to do is click File, Export. Then export the target version as the iClone 7. Export the geometry, make sure you select it. The geometry file name is Crowd01. Then make sure you embed the external texture. The destination, choose others so that you can browse your desktop. The Crowd01 folder is at here. Click OK. And make sure you take export the animations. This is very important. Click OK. Now it is exporting as Icon 7 props. Now it is exporting, you have to just wait for a while. Now it, it is almost done and successfully exported. Now it's really done. You can see the iProbe is already here. Click OK. Alright, now finally you can open your Icon 7. This is the Icon 7, the old version software. For this time in this tutorial, we need to perform the backward compatible actions so now this iprop we just drag and drop into your icon 7 scenes it is loading you can see it's just one file it is about 500 mb now this is already in icon 7 this is just an iprop but it is still okay try to play you can see the animations of the crowds like even mouth talking animations everything all of the crowds already successfully exported and then finally it is already imported into Icron 7. It is really amazing. Alright. Now at the beginning it is it is the actor group crowd simulations in Icron 8. Now it is already in Icron 7. Just a few simple steps, you can just make it everything available in Icron 7. Alright, that's all for today about my tutorials on how to bring the Icon 8 crowd simulations into Icon 7 to perform the backward compatibility. Alright, that's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you love my videos, tutorials, and sharings, if you feel all these tutorials and sharings are very helpful to your 3D modeling, 3D animations, and 3D game developing, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the mini bell and select all so that when next time I publish a new videos, tutorials or sharings, you receive a notification immediately. See you in my next video. Enjoy! Happy 3D modeling, 3D animations and 3D game developing. See you!